Hello. I want to join all of you by expressing my solidarity with you today. I wish I could be there to stand up for freedom, democracy, civil rights, the equality of women, justice, and a better future for the great people of Iran. I denounce Ayatollah Khomeini and the Mullah's regime who have trampled upon every aspect of international norms and values. For decades, the regime in Tehran has repeatedly committed crimes against humanity. This includes the 1988 massacre of more than 30,000 political prisoners. This includes shooting down flight PS 752. This includes aiding Russia in their illegal war in Ukraine. And it includes the brutal and unjust murder of Masa Amini and all the lives taken by this ruthless, brutal regime. This must stop. Canada must and can do more to help the people of Iran by listing the IRGC as a terrorist organization. In 2018, parliamentarians passed a motion unanimously calling on the government to do just so. But Justin Trudeau and his liberals have refused to officially add them to the list for over four years. In 2017, I sponsored the Sergei Minsky Law to hold corrupt foreign officials and gross human rights violators to account. Soon, I'll be putting forward new legislation to update our sanction laws to ensure all those responsible for the atrocities committed in Iran and around the world are held to account. It will be because of people like yourselves and all Iranians who continue to demonstrate true resilience and courage in their peaceful protests and civil demonstrations that change the future of Iran. Your tenacity and commitment to a greater future for Iran is inspiring. And I thank each and every one of you.